was just like on YouTube. I just found a couple boy vlogs. So I was just watching them shits. And then one day I just heard like Landon listen to my song. And then I remember I was listening to some of his songs too. So I was just hit DM to me. He was like, bro, like I fuck with your shit like so hard. Let's work. This is a story on how Cameron Howler, co-founder of the Cuff Boys, discovered Lil Skies before he would make a win to the mainstream and how he will play a huge role in Lil Skies' come up story. But the only way you're gonna understand how an average ginger kid helped form a legend is if we bring it back to the beginning. I'm a rock star. I need a rock star bitch. I got a rock star wrist. I'm on some rock star shit. Cameron Holler is the owner of the Cuff Boys channel and the leaders of the Cuff Boys, which includes Johnny Ransom, co-founder of Ransom Clothing and Landing Cube, multi-platinum selling musical artists. But like I said, we're taking it way back to the beginning before any of them were known. Cameron Holler have been doing YouTube since 2012, playing Call of Duty and gaming for his content. But he realized his YouTube really wasn't taking off. So he decided to change the content that he was making. So on February 23rd, 2016, he decided to record his mom reacting to a Bone song. And her reaction was so funny to the point that the artist Bones retweeted the video and that would make it take off. And the funny thing is, Cam's mom, aka Mama Cuff, didn't even know she was being filmed as she was wearing a robe. But it seemed like she didn't care because she made a return to the Cup Boys channel reacting to a Suicide Boys song. That video would actually take off and that would make both of them realize that this is actually working so for the next year straight they kept making mom reacts videos and video after video they kept getting more views and subscribers and that would lead to them getting a hundred thousand subs and i feel like that was a wake-up call for him showing him that this is serious so he should think about where the channel is going and that made him make a video titled we need to talk and to be honest i don't know if he would have met skies if he didn't make that video because he would ask his fans what type of content they wanted from him in that video and a lot of the comments were asking for vlogs and as you guys know Lil skies discovered the cuff boys from their vlogs but more on that later so cameron decided to start doing vlogs and because of that he wasn't just in his room filming with his mom anymore because he got the chance to film with his two best friends Johnny and Landon and obviously the vlogs weren't doing as well as mom reacts in numbers but Cameron stated that it's way more fun vlogging and because Cam decided to start putting Johnny and Landon aside the vlogs it will make both of them take their career serious and that will make Landon Cube start dropping music. Fast forward to March 2017 Landon Cube discovered Lil Skies with a little bit of hometown buzz only having 3,000 Instagram followers and Landon noticed that Cam gave him a little bit of clout so he can do the same thing for Lil Skies. So Landon decided to start chopping it up with Skies, not knowing that Skies already knew who they were because he would watch their vlogs a lot. And they were messing with each other's music so they decided to start supporting each other. Landon then invited Skies to his video set to his song Beach Town, which was actually shot by Skies' main videographer at the time, Nicholas Jandor. But Cameron took this as an opportunity because this was his first time meeting Lil Skies, so he put him in a vlog titled Y'all Go Know Lil Skies Soon. That will make me and a lot of Cupboy fans want to check out Lil Skies' music. Fast forward to June, two months later, Lil Skies and Cupboy's fan favorite Landon Q would collab to drop the hit song Red Roses and that song would take off with just having 1 million views on just the audio. Him and Landon, which was cool with Cole Bennett at the time, would help Skies to get on Lyrical Lemonade and as you guys know, four months later, Red Roses will get a Lyrical Lemonade music video and that will help Skies to get a small name in the music industry. At the time, Cameron Cuff will be documenting the whole thing and giving Skies' music a big platform on his channel as he will record his concerts, behind the scene music videos, and do mom reacts to his songs. After time, Skies will become a mainstream artist but didn't switch up a bit as he will hang around the same people that was there for him when he was sleeping on the floor and trapping by the sitgo. As he would invite the Cuff Boys to his first tour to document it and even though Cam couldn't make it to the tour, he still went to a lot of concerts and vlogged a lot of the tour. And that would help both of their careers out as a lot of Lil Skies fans will become Cuff Boy fans and a lot of Cup Boy fans would become Lil Skies fans as they see him living a rock star lifestyle. Fast forward to November 2020, we really haven't seen Skies in a Cup Boy video for like a year now, and a lot of fans are mad about that because they're assuming that Skies switched up. But that's not even close to the case. It's because Skies has a son now, so he stays in Pennsylvania, and obviously the Cup Boys stay in LA, so it's gonna be difficult for them to make content together. But I feel like we can all agree that Cup Boys times Skies vlog in 2020 will be legendary. Kim Holler has videos that'll be legendary when everything is over because him believing in Skies and documenting his come up is something you can't overlook. No questions asked, the Cuff Boys played a huge role in Skies' come up story. Like Cuff Boys be the team and not everybody's about to be a star player but you got an MVP mindset knowing your position. Comment down below if you guys miss the Cuff Boys and Skies hanging out and vlogging the whole entire experience man cause I do. Make sure to subscribe cause I post lots of Skies content and I know you guys are gonna like them so go check them out also. Follow my Instagram at JoJoScout underscore and DM me on there for a cheap promo and bro stick around to the next video is about to be lit better than this one let's get it